Okay, hi. How are you all doing? Um, well, today I want to make this video real short. I always say that, but somehow I'm going to make it short. It's about wine and art galleries. Okay. I believe my question of the day was, um, is it better to drink wine through, before, or after you see the paintings? Okay. My recommendation is that the most sober that you are, if you're actually serious about buying a painting, is for you to be sober. Uh, and then socialize and seal the deal with a glass of wine. Now, if you are going to drink wine, then I would recommend to, for you to take it easy and take it slowly. Um, there's, there's been several times where I've been in some galleries where people just get intoxicated. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say that I have never have. I don't drink anymore. Uh, due to problems, and um, I don't like drinking, I don't crave it, uh, I don't want it. So, but that's just me. I know that most of us, uh, most of all the people around the world, love to drink wine or to like to drink a beer. But when you go to an art gallery, you you go to appreciate art um, in all the senses that you have, so that way you can feel the sensation. Um, I'm not saying that it's wrong for people to drink wine while they're looking at paintings, but the most sober that you are, the better that it is to um, to appreciate the beauty of the painter, you know, the message that they're trying to send you. So uh, what kind, you know, you, you're able to read better, you're able to see color the right, I mean, without any influence, um, instead of being intoxicated or even semi-busting, you're not going to appreciate the art the same way. You might end up buying something that you don't want, and next morning you want to return it. And you can't just return a, a a painting just because you were drunk. Uh, imagine how humiliating that would be for the artist, uh, the painter. So I believe that out of respect, uh, being sober 100% is the best thing that you can appreciate art. Uh, that way you can see the materials, you can ask the, you know, the artist that is there, the painter that is there, taking his time, you know, to give you some information about this. You know, um, you can ask all the questions being your, you know, 100% instead of like, oh, how are you doing? I'm all drunk, but I really like your painting. Oh, or I got drunk and, oh my God, I just destroyed a painting by accident. You can't do things like that. So I said that in my opinion, if I go to an art gallery, and I had made the mistake to go, when I was like not even working professionally about it, um, I would go send my bus in, it, I would drink a glass of wine and then I would be like making a fool out of myself because I wasn't working on that at that time. I was more like just going, or I'd be trying to be fancy, I guess. A lot of people go to get out of galleries to meet people that are important or, you know, or that is fancy or that they make them feel like in another world. I mean, that's great. I mean, you can experience all that without the wine or put the wine afterwards or almost 30 minutes towards the end. Um, then you make the right choices, my, the, the right decisions. Now, if you're not going to buy anything, I mean, at least pay some respect and wait half the time um, to drink. I mean, first try to appreciate, take your pictures of the paintings, you know, post them online, promote the artists. If you're not going to actually uh, buy anything, at least the least you can do is uh, take some pictures and share them around so that way they can, you know, people get to know their work. I mean, that's the least you can do. Uh, if you uh, do not acknowledge most of these painters, uh, they, and you know, not just painters, but any type of field that has to do with artists and and stuff, they put a lot of effort in their work. It takes them a long time to make everything perfect and beautiful. So you have to appreciate, just like you appreciate the chef in your, uh, at your favorite restaurant or, you know, or, you know, or whoever make your clothes or dye your hair, do your nails, whatever it is. Um, you have to appreciate what painters do. It's not a game. Um, and it's not an easy feel also. So I, the least that people can do is pay some respect to that. So if you're going to go to an art gallery and take things serious, first of all, if you're going to buy, um, you have to be 100%. Then you can have the big bottle of wine to celebrate afterwards. Um, I heard of a lot of uh, galleries that had had issues, even with people over drinking, a lot of people showed up. I know that a lot of exhibitions, I mean, you have to pay, you know, to get in. 
but also at least you're paying for your wine. But so, in some galleries, they do it for free and they give you pastries and they give you wine and everything. And you're taking care like, like a king. I mean, you have a minute of getting out of your house and looking at something beautiful. So if you go to France, let's put it this way, and you go to the best, you know, museum on earth, okay, you, do you really want to be drunk? But you are able, were you not able to appreciate that beauty? Um, I don't think so. So a lot of these artists, they actually had to put money out of their pockets so that way they could provide more wine to the people that are there. And that sometimes, most of the times, either don't buy anything or, because of course, paintings are expensive. But I mean, that doesn't give them the right to get drunk out of one thing just because they're giving wine for free. Um, so you're there to look at the art. I mean, many, uh, many of you take this serious, you know, you're there to, you know, to buy something or to appreciate the art or to tell the artist, wow, I, I, I can't afford any of your paintings, but do you have any prints? I mean, ask questions. Uh, I really like that painting. And if the more serious that they see you, the more effort they put to, to sell you something, you know, that, that you're able to afford and buy in some kind of way to accommodate your needs. But if you're gonna be drunk, hey, I love your, I love your, your painting, it's so awesome. What is it exactly? I mean, you can't be looking like that at an art gallery. Thing. And another thing, don't wear, don't wear sandals when you go to a freaking gallery. Anyway, that's another story. That's stylish. Okay. But my biggest thing is if I was, uh, if I were to be a first timer that is going just to look at the art because I don't know what to buy and I don't know about anything about how paintings or the world of paintings or any other fields, you know, when it comes to molding, uh, whatever you're doing that is artistic, uh, you have to learn a little bit about those things before you go, because you can't just go and think that that humongous painting is gonna be a hundred bucks. Okay, no, of course not. Or that that little painting is gonna be uh, 50 bucks. No, it's not. A lot of those little paintings, they, they took a lot of, uh, it required a lot of, I mean, I know that everybody thinks of painter now, but no, I mean, the real painters, I mean, it takes a while and it consumes a lot of their time, their family time, their work time. And then it's, it's, it's yeah, it is a hobby and everything, but it's also their heart, their inspiration. So the least you can do is pay respect to these people. I mean, I know plenty of them and I always have paid my highest respect for them. And I really feel so bad when I look back in the past when I was younger, um, and for me going, you know, drinking before or drinking through it, I wasn't able to appreciate anything. So this is why I'm giving this advice. It's like the best thing is you go 100%, you show respect. If you're not buy anything, well, at least say, wow, this is amazing if you liked it. If not, say, you know what, I really, um, I don't know exactly what you're doing, but I mean, can you explain me what the painting is about? I mean. Painters like to know things like that. They, they feel appreciated, even when they have critics or reviewers, you know, uh, it's still important to them to know what people want. Uh, so, wine and galleries. If you feel that you're able to handle it and you're not gonna make a fool out of yourself, and if you're gonna buy a painting that you're not gonna wanna, that you're gonna wanna return tomorrow, then go ahead and drink. But if you are not, if you can appreciate um, taste of a painting because you're tasting the wine, first of all, you're there for the paintings, not for the wine, unless it's just because you want to get drunk for free. So I'll leave it up to you. I mean, I, you're all more than welcome to leave me any comments about it. I know that maybe uh, you don't understand what I'm saying. I don't want to make this video this huge. But it's just a little bit of advice so that way people start to appreciate what other people do. And for, for you all to understand that I'm not trying to, to trash people out that drinks through the wine, um, through the whole uh, gallery ex, uh, ex, exhibit. I'm just saying, don't you like to appreciate beauty the way as it is instead of having some kind of influence to you? 
I think it's very important, especially if you can invest money. Because if you get drunk and you work at a law firm and you're going to get like a beautiful horse, you know, uh, and, you know, as a painting, and you end up with a unicorn, uh, does that make any sense? And then you want to return it because it was in the right horse, it was a unicorn. I mean, see, you can change your perspective of how you do things. That was more of a joke. But um, I'm pretty sure that nobody's going to confuse a unicorn with a horse. Well, you never know if they're drunk. So, <laughs> from my experience of what I've seen, I have seen people do when they're drunk, uh, yeah, I, I can see somebody accidentally buying a unicorn. But anyway, instead of horse for a lot, a lot of fun. <laughs> Anyhow, so thank you very much for listening. I'm pretty sure that nobody was here because I didn't really announce this video, but I'll leave it over here and I'll see you pretty soon. But my next subject, I mean, today was something real quick, something that came out of my head. I have put on hold other things for a little bit, um, but I'll go back into everything again. I've been working in another two websites. Please look for me on Mighty Networks and on, of course, uh, Instagram and on uh, Facebook, of course. Uh, so I'll be seeing y'all soon. And next time we'll talk about pictures. Okay. Love you. Bye. Have a good, excellent day or night, wherever you're at.